What is a common trap that presenters fall into when using PowerPoint and some of the cool graphics that you can use? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the keys to PowerPoint is simplicity. Don't fall in love with effects and noises and all kinds of cool graphics. I say this from experience because early on when I started using PowerPoints, I loved those swoosh effects where words would come flying in or go up or down or bounce around. Or the, I also loved all of the different sounds, the things that were different that would get people's attention. And it was really fun. What I discovered was a hard lesson that when people were paying attention to the visual effects and the interesting sounds, they weren't hearing my message. I even found this application for my phone that would create these cartoon or line drawing effects, and here's an example of that. This looks really cool and fun for about five seconds. The problem with all of these effects and sounds is that they're masking the fact that you don't have a message, or if you do, they're distracting the audience's attention from that message. Remember the rule of speaking in PowerPoint. Create your message first. The visuals can be entertaining. Make sure they don't distract from your message. If they don't enhance your point or make it more memorable so it sticks with the audience, you've got to leave it out. How can you know if the effects are working or they're distracting? You should know the answer by now. Test it. Go to your audience. Share your message, show the interesting effects, use those, in, uh, those really cool sounds, but then get feedback. And most importantly, listen to it. Ask people, was this entertaining, was it interesting, or do you feel like it helped remember my message? Because if it doesn't, get it out. Pretty simple rule. The tip for today is to use special effects judiciously and make sure that they absolutely enhance your message and don't take away from it.